right. So I am going to enter into this hive. I'm going to talk through what I see. Now in our other hives, we were looking today at the density of bees. This is the summer solstice, so it means that our bees, our hive should be the most populous. Here's a frame full of nectar and pollen with some young brood. This frame tells me that we have wall to wall brood in this hive. Wall to wall brood means that there's brood all the way to the edges. All of this wax being light colored tells me that it is all new, which means our hive has built several frames of wax since the last time we were in here. So remember I started with that outermost frame so I could pull it out. Another frame of mostly capped brood, some nectar, yet. This frame is thick and heavy. It has a little bit of brood on this side and a little bit of brood on your side. Mostly emerging brood here. This tells me that these bees need room to expand. They have no more places to draw wax and they're starting to store nectar in the brood nest, in the center. That can lead to premature swarming, so we need to give them some room to grow because they're still going to grow up a little bit more before our dearth and then our small nectar flow. Can I have brood combs? I have new brood in the center older kept brood on the outer edges here and some food up at the top of this comb. This is the center of my brood nest and I am seeing some backfilling, some nectar in the center of these combs. That is telling me that this hive needs more space. The nice and tight in population which you can see as you're looking down into this which means they could be supered or add a honey frame or um, a second box can be added so they can grow up into it. There's our queen here on some capped and open brood. There's some nectar here and she does look like she's looking for places to lay. She's running out of spaces in which she can lay eggs. Again, another indicator that this hive needs to be expanded or would benefit from being final indicator is that none of my bars or my frames have space on them for wax to be drawn down. I have this bar here uh, but the, where the wax is actually attached to the wall and not the bar. So they've already started building wax in the crevice where the new bar was, which means these bees need more room. And really I wanted to show you this because whether we're in the Langstroth boxes or the Ware boxes, we're reaching a point in the summer where bees need room to store up nectar to grow out wax for um, the brood that they're going to need for the fall and the winter. So this is a great opportunity to give them ample space to grow in. So for this hive, what I would do is either under super it with another comfort hive box just like this with some blank popsicle sticks or uh, with some blank bamboo skewers or I can take half of this hive give them a new queen and make what's called a split and leave half of this hive here as a queen right split so I can make two hives out of one in these smaller boxes much more quickly than I can in the larger boxes um, because they grow and get to the edges of the nest very quickly. Or I can grow this box by supering it or adding a second box. In ware or comfort style hives, we under super, we put the supers underneath the brood nest. 
Uh, in Langstroth hives, we over super, we put the, brood, the boxes on top of the brood net. 